man. I'm sorry, Rebecca. Like, I don't like you, but I'm sorry. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Why is... Doesn't look like anybody's home. Why is Carver so interested? Damn. Nailed down tight. In these people. I'll check I don't get it. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Could probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? Uh, what? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. Yeah, I'm just a, <laughs> a really tall treehouse. What am I? A monkey? Hey, you said it, not me. <laughs> Children really are like monkeys, though. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. All right, Luke. Got a good grip? Now's not the yeah. time to be joking when I was around. A kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. Well, that sounds stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. Are they gonna kill Luke this chapter? <laughs> Oh, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. Like, we're bonding right, just, with him an awful lot. Just slow down. Just for a second, okay? I know I'm fine. Just trying to help. Hmm. <sighs> it's like a TV show, you know? Whenever they have an episode where, like, one character gets a lot of attention, that's when they die. I don't know. It's a pattern. Then again, Telltale doesn't really... Made it. Follow those patterns, so. You see anything? Let's take a look. I can see the bridge. Um. What? Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. Oh shit. Clementine, don't fall. Don't, don't fall just because your spotter left. Shit. Careful, Clementine. Take it slow. Take it slow. You got this, girl. Okay. Phew. I was worried that she would fall. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Whoa. Everyone calm hey, down. Hey, you are fucking hey, man, rude. You the fuck down. Sarah, get behind Just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, whoa. <gasps> whoa, whoa. What's gonna Please happen? Just do what he says. What? Kenny. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? I thought you were dead. I I thought you were dead. Ah. I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. Okay. I just started dinner. I need to know how this happened. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. Interesting. Kenny wants to take in people. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess I understand. He was really against it till he saw Clementine, which makes sense. Okay, I need to know how you got here and how you survived that sure death. That we saw in season one. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? 
Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Can we please catch up? I'm please dying make to know. At home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. What? Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool, okay? Hey, hey, we're cool. We're cool. They're cool. Nick. Nick. Don't do anything. Ugh. Dad, look. A Christmas tree. Well, no, sorry. If Nick shoots Kenny, I'm gonna fucking flip great? shit. We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Actually, I can see how this would be bad. What about those those people with the flashlights? Wait, did Luke even hear me? If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Oh no. We could be caught without weapons when they come find us. That would be so, so bad. They're setting it up perfectly for that too. Uh, I wonder... Hmm... Hmm. I wonder if, like, your decisions from season one affects this. Like, it's Kenny if you choose one thing, and it's, like... Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? Lily if you choose something else, you know? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? Lee saved me. He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. Lee and I had our differences, that's for sure. But when my son, well, he helped me do the right thing. Thank you. I'll never forget Thank that. you. Validation. I got so much shit so, over that choice. You oh up? my god. Ah. Oh. Everybody was like, you should have shot Duck. All right. I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. Where have you been? But everything's gonna be fine now. Where have you been? Oh, hell. All over after Savannah. How did you get out of there? For some reason, I tried to save that fucking shitbird, but <laughs> then it turned into a damn cluster. Couldn't help the kid, but I got out. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Oh. Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm can, hits. Clem, can you pipe sure. up about the flashlights? I'm Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? I mean, I know it must be shocking and revelatory to see Kenny again, but the flashlights, there were two. Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? Not really. I kind of want to tell everybody about the flashlights I saw. So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. But Kenny, well, he never slows down. We're old friends. 
I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Hmm. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Oh. Matthew remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Um. Everyone underestimates me. I expect you've used that to your advantage. Yep. Sometimes. Oh, wait. Smart oh. girl. He looked like he was glaring at me for a second. Hmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? Sure. Can I tell you about the flashlights after that? Looks great. Looks great. It looks like mush. No, it doesn't. Mm -mm -mm. As an artist, there's nothing I like less than a friendly critic. Huh. Striking resemblance. To what? Oh my god. Anyway, I'll take it from here. What's the deal? Mm -hmm. Just because just cause Clem has pigtails? Sort of? Like, half pigtails? Can someone tell someone about the fucking flashlight? It's driving me crazy. <laughs> what was that look for, Clementine? Wait, how come I only have a lighter now? Did I really lose all my items? I thought I had more than that. I know I lost my hammer. Hmm. What about that knife? That WM knife? Oh, I said it at the entrance. Right? Did we see that? I don't know. Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th, 1998. Dude, that sounds awful. Can we never listen to that? Ugh, Cousin Jared. Lasertronic. Crazy. Okay, let's, uh, whatever. If it sucks, we can turn it off. So far, it's people clapping. It sucks. Turn it off. Oh. That's better. Okay. Uh. Reminds me of school. You remember school? Good job. Okay, um. What? Can I go towards the entrance? I kind of want to go towards the entrance. Okay. Clem, try not to look so worried. I know you've seen some shit, but. Oh man, it won't let me go this way. That's all right. <sighs> I, uh, I freaking, I can see it coming. I just, I don't want it to happen. If like we could play out the rest of this series as just like Happy Ski Lodge Simulator, I'd be totally fine with that. I would welcome it. What's this song you're humming? Good King Wenceslas. <gasps> I haven't King seen King one of these since. What's it about? Well, it's about a king that brings food to a poor man. Good King Wenceslas looked out on the feast of Stephen. When the snow lay round about, deep and crisp and even, brightly shone the moon that night. Ah, though the frost was cruel, when a poor man came in sight. Thou in them boldly, thou shalt find the winter's rage. Freeze thy bloodless cold. She's singing a different part of the song. It means that doing good things for people can be good for you. It's also a fun but song to the sing. The servant wouldn't have been out there in the first place if the king hadn't made him. Okay. <laughs> good point. Well, yeah, I guess. Damn it, I never thought about it that way. Sarah, you just, like, broke my world. Clem, we could use some help. Hey, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. Sure, I guess I'll help string up the fucking Christmas tree you during a zombie apocalypse. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. He is, he is. But you must be so glad. Ugh. It's weird to see him now. I'll bet, but he's so happy to see you. He seems, yeah. he seems good. And I'm glad you're with us too. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, 
but I still love the decorations. Hmm. Find a tree topper. Is this really an objective? Hmm. How about my hat? How about this map? That can be a tree topper. Okay. Great. Oh, what about this? What a funny little guy. Oh, are you saying he's not tree topper material? Frickin' this is like tree topper idol right now. Clem Simon Cowell. You don't really have potential. It was karaoke. And thank you for enduring the single worst Simon Cowell Clementine amalgamated imitation that you've ever heard. Uh, okay. Well, you, see what you gotta do. You gotta do like a British Clementine. Crazy. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Follow us this far. We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. Ha <laughs> ha. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. Oh, now we're talking people? about this? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. <laughs> I saw lights. Two. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? Walter? We have to be careful. They could be hiding something. He mentioned someone else. Someone else? Who? His friend. His name is Matthew. Look, Look I don't care wait. what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. Wait, what? See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. What? Wait. What? Matthew, I thought... I, I might be confused right now. Okay. Ball ornament? That's not a tree topper. Come on. Alright. We're gonna have to pick up the angel. Go with what Sarah likes. Make her feel like she's at home. Um, here. Let, before we do that, I don't want to commit to it yet. Excuse me. Can I, can I talk to... Okay. Okay. Is this just to see what it looks like? Oh, oh, it's right there. I'm an idiot. God, I thought... <laughs> okay. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. It Matthew is pretty nice. are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind. They can't help it. Oh Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. Who is Matthew? The first time he met me, he called me Rita. So I call him Maddie now. <gasps> what, what if Matthew's Matthew the guy from the stream that oh, she gave he's water a to? Handsome man. Little shorter than Walter. He should be back soon. I feel like a lot is hinging Ken, on his appearance. I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? In a good I didn't way. Him before. And well, I'm curious. He does seem different than I remember. In what way? I'm not sure. What? Well, you three have been busy. I know. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Whoa. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine? He couldn't lift a fly? I don't really think that that's the... That's the saying. That's not really an idiom, I hate to tell you. Okay, let's talk to Rebecca, because we didn't do that last time. Hi! Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? Everything's so fucked up. 
I think it's possible. How do you know? Well, I'm still here. I know it's going to be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. Wanna listen? That food smells good, huh? Gross. It's okay. Can I? All right, all right, fine. She's gonna be a runner. <gasps> Nosebleed? Nope. It's not his. Oh. Uh, oh. Well, how do you know? I just do. We were trying for so long, and, and then if Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. Whose is it? I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. I... I wouldn't say anything. Yeah, I wouldn't. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. <laughs> Let's eat people. It's an exact reflection of season one, episode two. <laughs> Kenny's like, yeah, Glenn, we're cannibals now. <sighs> you okay, man? Yeah, just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Everything's great here, right now. Oh, who am I going to sit with? Holy shit! Dude, fuck that. I'm sitting with Kenny. Kenny never locked me in a shed. Here you go, Clem. All right. Excuse so, Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? He's not in charge. Hey, Sarita, we don't know these folks. They seem nice. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Oh, shit. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. If that's what she wants. Of course she does. Right, Clem? Thank you. Of course. This is like a dream. Damn it, I am so happy right now. I, I can't even tell you. Yeah, I said yeah, because... Because fuck it. Everything's gonna get fucked up in just a second, so who cares, right? Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> Kenny. <sighs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? What? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Uh -oh. Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. What kind of place? A good one, Einstein. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Shit. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clown? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying? What? Excuse me? Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, Damn. please, there's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. 
I know everything's about to get messed up, so... Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> duck? Who's Duck? Leave him alone, Luke. Hey, Clementine, would you, uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Hmm. Man. <sighs> hey, Walter. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Don't turn out to no, be a I creep. I used to be a teacher. And I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time. But that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Will you help me work on them? The two of us must unify our factions for the common good. You know, like Churchill and Roosevelt. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. What are we In doing end, out here? We can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other. To is he about to die? And use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck. Have you read him? I actually haven't read Steinbeck. Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up. I'm ashamed right now. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is... As long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? It's never that easy. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can Who's... talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm worried about your friend. I think that... Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. But I think... Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being <laughs> from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. Dude, seriously. Just check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. What's gonna happen? <gasps> hey, it's her! From 400 Days! Miss? Bonnie! Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? I know her. Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. <laughs> Dead stare. You, really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. Being really nice. She's with Carver's group. I have a little girl like you. She she. Uh, How old are you, sweetie? I'm eleven. I would have thought older than that. Hmm. When is everything gonna go to shit? Cause it has to be soon. Here you are, miss. This they end much. every episode don't like that. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. I, uh, I don't know, Clem, man. Go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Don't freak out. What? What? 
What? What? What? What do you want? Listen. Okay, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. <gasps> no! I didn't even think of that! I didn't even think of that! See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. No! Now we're all worried he's not back yet. What are we gonna do? I didn't even think of that! I don't know. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. Oh, no. No! What if he finds out anyway? Well, then we're fucked. But, you know, we'll just... We'll just deal with it then. Now, do you, uh... You still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews <gasps> and Walter sees it, he's gonna oh, put you into Oh, shit! The it's with the other weapons. Oh, shit! Okay, well, go get rid of it. Now I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? What? Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? We have to tell you something. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. I know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. I'm fucking showing him the you photo! Guys talk to me. I'm showing him the photo. You have to. Otherwise, oh, he might Jesus. blab. Oh, God. God damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. Oh. What? Uh -oh. No, you can hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta. I can't live with that on me. Okay, I hear you, but f I mean, fuck, man. Do you know what he's gonna do? You don't know he'll do anything. Well, are you kidding me? Nick, you shot his friend. Shit. I don't, I don't know what to contribute. I gotta do this. Jesus. I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, alright? Uh, damn it. It kind of backfired. Well, ah, such a complicated situation. I don't know what to do. <gasps> it's gone. No! What the fuck? What the fuck? 